I sit in that mode, uh, hotel behind me. I first got a hotel room in a cheaper place, but then when I went in the room, the room wasn't turned. I told the lady that I would take sheets and change the sheets and just stay there and she like didn't want to do it and they didn't have any more room so she called this hotel behind me which was really nice and they gave me the same rate. The biggest struggle today is the uh, possibility of drizzling rain and more importantly there's a head-on, dead-on, head-on wind blowing 10 to 20. So I just gotta fuel up and uh, do what I can. I really want to do 70 miles but with this kind of wind I don't I don't foresee that happening. So my strategy today is to uh, not press so hard into the wind because the faster you go into the wind the more resistance you're creating you can burn out fast so I'm just gonna tra treat it like if I was climbing just keep a nice cadence whatever feels right and let the day develop and hope for a decrease in wind as the day progresses and maybe I can make more miles later or more importantly I just don't want to get so worn out that tomorrow when the wind lays down I won't be able to capitalize on it so I'm just gonna do what I can all day I got eight hours or so I can ride if I can keep seven miles an hour that's 50 miles that'd be really good for a head-on wind like I have now so let's see what happens all my clothes so it was really nice to do that and also my tent and everything else that I had I kind of went through all my equipment I cleaned my bike and my chain and re-looped it and I uh, feel like a, a new start one of the things I try to keep in mind all the time when I'm uh, dealing with the wind and my pace in any way is that the wind's hardly ever constant. It's always gonna have its gusts come in and push you hard and and if you try to keep the same speed, it's just gonna hurt you. And there's no race here, you're just bicycle touring, you know? So I'm gonna do what I can and uh, wait for my moments to go faster when the wind lets me. The rest of the time, I'm just gonna read the wind and not let it get to me psychologically. Thankfully, in my line of work, I, uh, I'm very accustomed to uh, dealing with insane wind, so this is not a, a big task for me. But it, either way, if you if you let it get to you, it will get to you if you try to press against it too hard. So the plan is to go steady and do as many miles as you can without hurting yourself or beating your body up. All right, blah, 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 quack, quack, quack. I'm crossing into Wisconsin, but not for very long. And it's because the two different routes I had, one was more westerly than the other. The other one was a little bit more north. 
so I chose the more northern route so I could avoid the majority of the head-on wind. I'll still have it head-on, but not so much. Not sure if you can see the guy behind me there. He's a optometrist. He was raking his, uh, his driveway and stopped me to say hello. And then like we chatted for a little while about sunglasses and this and that and then he's he's offering me money he's like how are you doing with cash i'm like i'm doing okay thank you sir he was a sweetheart uh i never even got his name but it's uh meeting people like that that really just makes a lot of my day all right it's going good almost 10 miles Those trucks are gonna help a lot today. I'm going down uh, downhill and I still have to pedal pretty hard. It's ripping right now in front of me. shoulders like tiny and the wind's like whipping me around so I'm gonna go on the gravel and I can't go that fast anyways Uh, riding looking back in my rear view mirror staying on the shoulder but when I see a car coming or especially a truck I get off uh, and get on the gravel the gravel just got really coarse like this right here Entertaining. I hate to say that, but it's true. Just keep an eye behind and keep getting off the road. just lay down a little bit or a lot I'm getting welcome back into Michigan as soon as I cross over Michigan instead of getting that gravel shoulder I got a beautiful one right now that feels good it's a uh, it was tough riding on that gravel road I wasn't going anywhere entertaining jumping back and forth but this is better
I so want to scream down this hill, but it's totally the wrong direction for me. It's been a while since I uh, dropped on a mountain. Got stuck in a diner in Crystal Falls, waiting for, a, for it to stop. So now the night's coming on me and I have uh, 15 more miles to get to 50 miles for today, which is what I wanted to do and get to uh, Iron River. I just gotta keep riding and make the most miles I can right now. Wow, the scenery right now is superb ahead of me. Unbelievable, I gotta stop. Unbelievable how gorgeous it is. <laughs> it's crazy how beautiful. Like unbelievable how beautiful it is right now. Unbelievable. I'm just gonna take it in and try to uh, share it with you guys. Back in the hills, some legit hills here, fun ones, kind of like western grade, long, continuous. That's one legit steep hill coming up. I can tell the gray just looking at it right now. The temperatures tonight are gonna go in the low 40s. And my sleeping bag, my winter sleeping bag, is, ba is back, is somewhere between home and Traverse City because I had it shipped to uh, Traverse City and there was some issue with Traverse City Post Office and they wouldn't give me the box. Even though I had the name on it, my name on it and everything. Anyways, it's heading back home so then my buddy Bruce can send it back to me wherever I'll be. And either way, the short story is that I don't want to sleep with my summer sleeping bag in low 40s. I've already been kind of cold at night in the 60s. So I got to find a place to stay indoors tonight and tomorrow is supposed to be like warming up and it should be a really good stretch of weather for me to knock some miles out so let me get up here in this hill city of iron river i'm about to ride into uh the city of iron river i've done a uh, 50 miles plus when I get there. I'm pretty happy with today considering how much wind was there in the morning and I sort of had a late start. So I just passed up a hotel and I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for a hotel. So my move now is to go to the gas station and uh, get some local knowledge, see what they say about uh, other places to stay. So I don't have to go running around. The thing about motels is that they're not on the internet. You gotta go looking for them. All right, she says that there's a motel somewhere back here. It's either that or the hotel that I just passed. And I know those hotels, they're gonna be like $130 just to get some sleep, negative. Darn it, no vacancy. All right, only one more option. Let's hope that they have a room there. Where's the warm showers when you need one? 
I could use like a warm shower hose right now. Well, I think I just locked out. I asked the lady in there if there were any other options. It was gonna be 150 bucks. I don't wanna spend $150 on a hotel. And she tells me there's a motel down the road here that's super nice and clean. And I, I didn't see it coming in, but she called and uh, they have a room, so I'm heading over there right now. <laughs> 